tank and move fast. Stay one step ahead of Declan. If I make even a single mistake, there are no second chances this time. He murdered Nick, he murdered Dennis, and he'll murder us. If I can predict his next moves, we might be able to get the upper hand. Who he is will tell me what he'll do. I could try going for his gun. I could tackle Declan to get him off Anna. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. side and use the element of surprise. But that'll only work if I can predict what he'll do next. Think, Sam. Anna's safe for now. I need to keep it up. Declan might go for his gun. Declan goes after Anna, my best move is to strike from the right. Give me the evidence now. You want to get shot? Wait! Here, take it. Son of a bitch! something we're dead but if I do the wrong thing I have to stay focused account for all the elements at play here we're doing well I have to stay one step ahead of Declan and we'll get him I could 
rush him and try and take his gun out of the equation. If I can get close enough, I can stop Declan from using his gun. It's definitely risky. Gun, Declan. Anna! Hello? A woman has been shot. I need an ambulance. Just hurry! Okay, good. Stay with me. You have to stay with me. I'm fine. Don't worry. Anna, I'm... Anna, please. Carrie James at 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. You heard the news today? The local cop who died in that fatal shooting last week is apparently the head of a small opioid ring right here in Basswood. Crazy. It's believed he used his position to bring in drugs from all over the county and that he murdered two people in an attempted cover-up. Good news, however, the journalist who was wounded while confronting the rogue cop was released from the hospital today. Looks like I'm not the only one who's come to visit Anna. Sam, hold your horses. Anna's busy with the sheriff. You should probably give him a moment or two. Sure, Joe. How you been? How have I been? Son, I appreciate you being here for Anna, but it don't change what happened. My girl's hurt real bad. And things could have been even worse without you. You did good. Joe. No, Anna told me what you did. How hard you fought. Thank you for keeping your word. I had to. That promise kept me going. I bet it did. But you better not drag my daughter into any more dangerous situations, all right? So much stuff. Anna won't have to buy food for weeks. I guess it's their way of making her feel better. Walter. Samuel, my boy. As I live and breathe, 
I kept meeting to call, but phones are so... impersonal. How are you holding up? I'm actually doing pretty good. I feel like I'm finally in a place, mentally. Finally me. You went through something terrible, but I'm glad you came out the other end. I've had a brush myself with the Maker here and there, and I would never call them fun. Not fun at all. Life-affirming, though, definitely. Even for those close to you, it leaves a mark. Now, two members of my family of heart are gone. One is wounded. It might be time for me to finally hang up my saddle. The basswood jungle has printed its last pages. It's making you think it's finally the right time to retire, huh? Believe me, it doesn't feel right one bit, but my flame has run its course. Without Nick. Without Dennis. Can't run a paper by yourself. Nor would I want to. Well, I, I've taken up enough of your time. I'll leave you to the other guests. Drop me a line sometime. Drop me a line. Sam. Sam. I've been meaning to call you. Have you talked to Joan? I haven't heard from her since last week. Why? What happened? She ran away. After she heard about Anna's... She just... She left. Do you know where she is? At my sister's. Sam, I don't even know what to do. She won't return my calls. Your calls? Kathy, you have to go talk to her in person. You think I don't know that? You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. <sighs> Any advice? Kathy, when did you start taking opioids? What? What does that have to do with... What do you think happens if someone finds out and reports you? You could lose your job. How dare you? You don't know anything about what I've been through. I don't, but it doesn't change the facts. You need to get help. Oh, and who's gonna look after Joan in the meantime? Who'll pay for the treatment, huh? She could stay with your sister for the time being. I know you're not on good terms, Joan told me. Still, you don't have a choice if you intend to keep custody of her. You've always been a cold-hearted asshole. You know that? Do her a favor and forget about us for good this time. And you make sure to push yourself. Get some fresh air. Don't let these doctors keep you cooped up for too long now. Oh, Sam, you're finally here. I was looking for you. Now I know you've been through hell and back. I know that. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, well, I got some good news for you for once. We found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. And since your testimony and Anna's corroborate Dickie's statement, no charges are going to be filed against you or Anna. It's clear self-defense. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. I'm gonna make sure that what happened to Nick is big news. I know you will, sweetie. Just keep something in mind. I think God put an angel and a devil in each of us when we were born. We spend our whole lives watching them fight it out. And most days, that little angel comes out on top. But we all have times when it's the devil who's in charge. 
Nobody's perfect. But my own angel is telling me to tell Nick's story. And I can promise you one thing. I won't let another Declan happen again. You have my word on that. Well, I'd love to stay, but I'm afraid duty calls. Look after yourself, Sam. So... So... I wasn't sure you'd show up at all. I meant to get here before, but... You look better? Better than last week, I guess, but that's setting a low bar. It could have been even worse if you hadn't... You, know, you saved my life. There was a lot of life-saving on both sides. You did some yourself. I did, didn't I? I'm a hero. We're both heroes. I mean, I guess. I still outrank you, though. You didn't get shot. What's wrong? I wish we'd gotten those files. The guy who was behind it all broke his neck trying to kill us. Case closed. I, uh... Yeah. I mean, I guess. You guess. You're alive. Let it go and enjoy having lived. I am. I am enjoying it. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> so what are you gonna do next with your unshot and healthy body? I'll finish up Nick's article. It's the least I can do for him. It's the least we can do. We'll finish the article together. Uh-huh. I should go. I had a feeling you would say that. You stay out of trouble, Sam Higgs. And maybe don't wait so long to darken my doorstep again. I guess we'll just have to see, won't we? Mr. Higgs, not surprised to see you here. I'm a little surprised to see you. Just giving my well wishes to Miss Miller. You did the right thing rooting out that ruffian. The town is better for it. Thanks. I'm not used to people saying things like that. <laughs> you may have to get used to it. What you did helped everyone. It really bolstered the common good. Be proud.
common good. I've heard that before. Common good. Common good. Common 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 good shit, right? I know what she'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. Don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, could she be the supplier? Get out the way. Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? Heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Go check on Joan. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? Your barroom brawl. I did, I did best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. Honestly, I'm afraid I'm you'd end up like your friend. I'm in good. I'm in good. I'm in good. Young man, is everything all right? You? You're a sociopath. A monster. What? Young man, I know you've been under a lot of strain lately. Nick never put it together. He was too close. It was you. What exactly are you trying to say? It wasn't enough to be a pill mill like every other two-bit pharmacy. You've been skimming. Extra boxes lost, records forged, ending up with Declan? Nah. That is a very serious accusation. The kind that, without proof, would never hold up. I saw Dickie picking up a box from your pharmacy. I know he was a dealer. I can draw a straight line through him. Three people are dead. Their trails all lead back to you. You seem to have me confused for a criminal mastermind. I'm just a small town businessman. I go where there's opportunity. And I've helped this town. I've created jobs, I've invested. I never forced anyone to do anything. I've only given people what they wanted. What they needed. I was here. I rolled up my sleeves and I got to work. Where were you? I'm here now. My sleeves are rolled up and I'm getting to work. I'm not asking for you to explain. I just wanted you to know. I wanted to look you in the eye before I brought your whole world down. Joe, Kathy, Joe. Don't you threaten them. I would never, but you do. Why do you think Nick never wrote his article? Never went to the police? He never finished his work because you killed him before he could. I am not, nor have I ever been a violent man. Others I've worked with, a little girl's future and a girlfriend with an aging father. Both cost money. People always find ways to get what they want. The question is, who profits? Criminals? Mobsters? Lowlifes? Take out the middleman and a worse one slides in. Nick understood as much. He wasn't like that. You didn't know him. Did you? He was going to bury the story.
It doesn't matter what lies you tell. I knew who Nick really was. Admirable, if misguided. People rarely show their friends who they really are. What Nick did is irrelevant. What matters is what you'll be doing. If you drop this misguided effort to accuse a kindly old man of heinous acts, I promise, Kathy, Joe, and Joan will want for nothing. However, if you follow through with this foolishness, I only doubt I'd spend even a single day behind bars. I'm old. I have money and lawyers, and when I speak, people listen. But what of Nick? Who took bribe, buried the truth? What will his daughter think? When I have no choice but to reveal he is just another dirty reporter. And let's not forget poor Kathy, who worked directly for me. It would at least cost her her job. Isn't being a single parent hard enough? Don't throw their lives away, Sam. Learn from your mistakes. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna finish what Nick started. Maybe you'll go to jail, maybe not. But people will know what you did. And they'll all know the common good never factored in. You did it all for yourself. And I'll make sure the life you've built burns for it. I hope you've got your seatbelts on, because we've got one nasty story coming up. Two years ago, West Virginia, a small mining town loses its mind. Income plummets, unemployment skyrockets. The stage is set for an unscrupulous pharmacist to roll into town. Two years later, over one million pills were shipped to the small West Virginian town of Basswood. Many sold right here on our streets. The article by journalist Samuel Higgs goes on. Information brought to light in this article led to the investigation of Hugh Kirkland, a seemingly respectable senior who turned out to be the mastermind behind this pill mill scheme. The Basswood Police Department is now under investigation. How the small town of Basswood can recover from such a blow is anyone's guess. All right, time to kick up your feet on the dashboard.